worksheet 16.3, problems 15 through 9, 20. 15 through 20. Is this sequence arithmetic or geometric? I would subtract 8, but I don't subtract 8 again, so it should be obvious that I'm dividing by 2. Or in other words, I am multiplying by a half every time. This is the first step, second third step, third, fourth, so forth and so on. And I'm multiplying by a half every time. So that makes this one a geometric sequence. Write an equation that represents A of N. A of N, normally we would write that as T of N or Y equals. The initial value is what I need. So I need to go work backwards one more step. So that would be a 32. And then the multiplier is 1 half. So 1 half to the nth. Or y equals 32, 1 half to the x. Or t of n is equal to 32, 1 half to the nth. So a of 6, we could either continue this table out like this, or we plug in a 6 right here. If I plug in a 6 right here, I will end up with a value of 1 half. If a of n is equal to 0 0.5, that's the same fraction as a 1 half. What was n? The best way to do this one, if it wasn't obvious that it was 6, is to plug and chug. So I want a value of 1 half. So I'll try 32, oops, 32 times 1 half and use this button here to get the exponent. And I'll try a number. Let's try 5. My answer is 1. Oh, I know that's pretty close to 0 0.5. So let's try the next one up. 1 divided by 2 to the power of 6. 0 0.5, which is what I was looking for. If this wasn't close enough, try either bigger numbers or smaller numbers as you go. So I know that the end value was 6. A of 11, the best thing is to plug it in here. So 32 times 1 half to the power of 11, like so. And I get the answer 0 0.015625. I'll go ahead and write down all those decimals. For those of you that used it purely as a fraction, it would have been 1 over 2 to the 6th. Is it possible to find A of 4.5? No. Our terms are whole numbers, so in a sense, this is a discrete function.